Hello my friends, it's good to see you ag again. I will make a chat application with you. This will be the design. I will make a home uh, phone home page. User will select a person that will chat with, with her, with him. After click message site, there will be a new page opening. opening. Uh, with this new page, there will be some sections. Top part will be the username. The bottom, uh, the middle part will be the chat history, and the bottom part will be the message area and the send button. And this will be the finish part. For example, if you are uh, using the user one, your chat history will be seen on the right. If you are seeing from the user two part, you will see uh, your chat is at the right and the user one will be at the left. Okay. To make this happen, I will create some uh, preliminary works. I will create a UI model, module and put some style sheet on it. This will be very basic stuffs, CSS, chat balloon, balloon right, chat balloon left, messaging area, message list. And put some uh, domain model here. This will be the person entity with the account one to one. And this will empty chat uh, entity and this will be the message entity. Don't forget to increase the string side of the message. And this will be cascading part. If you delete the message, all delete the chat, all messages will be deleted. It's not it's not so important, but um, we have two roles. Edwin has some uh, super roles on it. And uh, user will be user will be the user that we use the uh, phone sites and message with uh, his friends okay run application to see what's happening mx1 by the way before I forget i just put the security mx1 mx1 and the password policy like one no 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 okay and I already created some user one, user two. Let us create user three from scratch. User three, user three, put some user role on it. One, one, okay. And person overview. User three, combine with the account, this, and user three will be this girl, okay. Let us see the user one, let us see the user two, let us see the user three. Okay, the admin site is okay. What we're gonna do is create uh, home screens with you. I'm going directly to the navigation, at navigation profile, phone web, okay. Then my phone web is uh, can be seen. There is no home page yet. I will create, go to the home website, blank, home, phone, button, top bar, yes, blank, use this one, and create some button menu, home, home, open the new page, sign out on it. I always put some sign outs. Log out. This one is better. Make user sign out to switch between users. You see, uh, my navigation is not used here because this page automatically uses this layout. I will directly switch the layout to the project navigation, to the phone web. 
Yes, it's better. Okay. As I said, I will uh, start with my uh, home page. Let us remember home page. User can see the other users and choose one of them to message and uh, switch to the new page. Okay. Then put some page title. Okay. There will be list view to see the persons. That's right. To see the persons with his name, with their names. Okay. Person thumbnail picture and style maybe circle is better mm, i don't need these stuffs just put a layout grid to 444 because you see there's a picture name and message button so there's three section name in the middle picture on the left make it bigger and make it centralized. Yes, maybe it's better to see. You can always use the design mode. Okay, there will be empty button on it. It's called message. Add message icon. This will trigger uh, a micro flow to create a messaging action get or create let us say get or create a message yes so this user will be the receiver because when you see this page uh, and you will if you start this messaging uh, within my architecture you will be the uh, sender always and the person that received the message always called as a uh, receiver okay this is my um, architectural design okay to see to understand who am i I need to create a current user microflow and retrieve my account to, from the database. This is the general way to get current account. Yes, return, correct. And use this microflow to get current account here. After you get account, uh, before forget, always put some user roles on it. Yes, errors is gone. Yes, this will be the account, but I want to um, retrieve the person because a person represents accounts uh, with my architecture. Each account has some person. So I will retrieve by association from the current account. This will give my uh, current person. So I will call this as a, as a sender because this will create the messaging. Okay. I have receiver, I have sender, so I can create a new message or, or create a chat, let us say. Sender is person sender. Receiver is person receiver. Okay. Now we create the chat entity, so we need a display page. I will create a new page with the blank chat view sender let us call delete all of them put a data view make it chat entity this will be the page 
entity and call this microflow after the creating new chat like this use new chat okay okay <clears throat> as you remember the bottom part uh, the top part will be related to the chat person so I will put some data view on it data view <clears throat> put chat uh, receiver person as an entity yes you can no it's not a good idea delete all of them you can you can just say no 444 I will put a person name on it or I can use the this one it's better yeah look the person name correct so the top part is okay the middle part will be the chat history so there will be list view the data view will be end so I need to add list view right here and put a microflow of data source <coughs> with the name ds get messages like this <coughs> sorry adjust the security first always remember <coughs> Okay, I will retrieve the chat messages because each chat has some messages like this. Okay, retrieve by association from the chat to the messages, message list. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I will make some sortings to get always the last message at the bottom, okay? Don't forget to create, uh, don't forget the tick create date from your message entity, okay? Because we will use uh, as a sorting attributes on it. Let's make it sorting. Put list operation, choose the sort, choose the list, sort from the create date with ascending, okay? This will be important sorted list okay then we can use some counts sorted count i will make i'm making this in order to get always the latest for four or five messages okay okay choose range from the sorted list offset count minus four or five it doesn't matter <clears throat> just put the offset and amount with this uh, structure you will get always the latest four messages on the bottom okay and put the name as sorted list oh yeah i sorted this range list sorry range message list and return this okay what is there or yeah please use this user role okay that will be gone okay click message open the page and the page you will see the person name and th this will this area will be the messages now i'm gonna build the messages i will put some layout grid with the nine four because i want to use my site at the right with my picture and chats and the other side in the left okay so i will use a picture i can copy this one paste and switch to the entity message chat because i'm sender i will choose the person sender okay and the left will be the chat area with the message text attribute wrap a container make it double copy and paste and switch to the create date it's better to see 
the messaging time under the message. Okay. Wrap in a container. Okay. Make this a conditional visibility to the sender true. And it's time to use our uh, CSS value, CSS class, chat button, right? As far as I remember, let me check. Web and style sheet. It's better to copy, go to the Yes, properties. Yeah, it's better. Okay, this will be the only the first area. Okay, the the right one with the blue. You will see the design mode message and like this. Uh, don't forget to take this manual, take the phone with to three, and phone with to the nine. Let us see in the design mode. Yes, it's better. Three and nine. Save, 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 save all of them. Okay. Close others. Focus only this one. Copy all of them. Paste. And switch the all of them. Put the sender to the false as a conditional visibility. And make it under the left. Yes. It's because the left picture will be left and the text will be the right. I'm making the uh, gray one, okay? Choose to the receiver, choose to the receiver, right? It's okay, I think. And don't forget to use the left chat button CSS. And also there will be uh, some CSS class with my message area, which is called the message list. Yes. I will use the list view and maybe stripe is better. Yes. Make it design. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so far so good. Under the bottom, you will use a chat area, okay? In order to use this, we will create a data view with the microflow, new microflow, ds, create new message. Okay, before forget adjust the user rights as user. Okay, what I'm gonna do just create a message without committing. Create message and combine with the related chat, okay? This will make the page entity combined with the new message and return this one. Okay, super. Go to the this page, put some layout, grid, Six six is better. The left area will be with text area, so I'm gonna use the input text area with five no label like this, and the attribute will be the text. The right side will be the uh, send button, just button. and make it primary, delete the caption, use the send icon, paper, yes. Make these auto fit in font width. Yeah, it's better, spare. Good. And don't forget to use the CSS message area. It will make always at the bottom. It 
will make this area always at the bottom. Okay. I will put the inside layout container. Oh, there it will be copying error. Yeah, M is forgotten. Yeah, it's better. Let us see again. Good. And the button will do nothing until now. Just create a microflow action, save message or sender. Go to the microflow, give the user rights. First, I'm going to che check the message text because I don't want to uh, see the empty messages on it. If this is empty, do nothing. This will be the caption. If this is true, this is empty, do nothing. If it is not empty, we can change the message object. <coughs> with the sender attribute to the true and commit this. You don't need to refresh. Commit also the chat. Yes. Save, save. Let us look. Did I commit? Oh, it's better to commit, okay. Okay, this page will be ready. Just test it. You know, this is the uh, phone layout. So I need to open the phone profile after the rerun completed. I just put the rerun, waiting, and phone web. Okay, it's better. User one and one. Oh, good. But we we uh, actually forgot something. User one cannot chat with his own, so it's better to make this an expat mm, account. Account ID is not equal. Current user. Oh, no, 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 no. Just current user. Okay. Let me open to see. Okay. Done rerun. Just small fixing. Okay, good. Click the message. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, nice. Blah, 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 blah. But if you Go to the home and send, uh, click the message. You will see there is um, no retrieving activity. Just new messages will appear. Okay, we will fix all of them. Before we continue, first we're gonna create this page um, for the receiver part. Just duplicate it and change the name. The receiver. Receiver, right. Okay, first I will change the uh, top entity. No, not lit this one. Yes, this. Click the data view and go to the sender side, okay? Because you, now in this page you will be the receiver. So, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna switch all of the conditional visibility to the reverse and I think it will work. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it will work. <laughs> just change and design. Okay, it's better. But also we need to uh, duplicate this for the uh, receiver. 
yes for receiver okay change sender to the false make it false because if you click from this page you will be you will not you will be always the receiver I think the profile pictures will remain yes the wrong one the right will be receiver the left will be sender correct okay in order to fix the um, messaging retrieving we need to open this part again and we will make a, some area on it what we're gonna do we're gonna retrieve some um, chats from the database chat 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 right okay let me first I will look um, that chat that has the sender is the person sender and receiver is the person receiver okay if I find I will open the related page okay sender is person sender receiver is person receiver right okay I will call as a chat sender if it is not empty or if it is empty continue chat sender is empty make it caption if it is empty continue if it is not empty open the sender page because you will just retrieve the sender don't forget to make this parametric okay good just copy the three of them paste yes this will be the receiver part just switch to the receiver switch to the sender okay and make is called the receiver and cho choose this and receiver fix the caption and late this page please open the receiver page okay this will be the also the chat receiver okay this will make the previous chat will appear on the screen okay for example message you will see good but there is also some small bug on it always just free text is appearing because we use we just use them um, uh, this uh, attitude under like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this yes get messages where is this yeah yes get messages I'm gonna use a filter filter by expression message list mm, current object text is not empty okay filtered let us call yeah but it's not used anywhere make this is used okay good rerun to see Okay, good. I'm gonna just open Cognito. Yes, user two one. You will see the user messages will appear. Oh, I think there is an error. I don't want to see the. Yeah. 
the, the, the second one should the sending messages will be seen in the right okay chat receiver yes yes Find button. I think I don't find the button. Yeah, for receiver. Yes, sorry for that. Just rerun. What I do, I just switch to the receiver. Okay, it remains as a sender. Let us. Okay, it's good. But what is remaining? If you don't um, enter the page from home page, you will not reach the messages. Okay, after you enter some messages, uh, your colleague's message will appear. So what we do, uh, we're gonna use some timers or you can uh, use some other stuffs, but I will prefer um, timer to make it better uh, to make it more easy okay open the one of the page just right click timer micro flow timer and make it three seconds just remove call a micro flow as a refresher Open this microflow, make the user rights. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make this chat refresh in client in every three seconds, okay? So just copy this and put the receiver part. Let us see. Let us test. Okay, go to the home, go to the home. User, hello. Enter this. What's up? Send message. You see. Um, what gonna do? Why it's not appearing? Okay, let me check. Chat receiver. Refresher. Refreshing client, chat sender, yes, chat receiver, yes, we run again, ah, you see, okay, let the simulation from the beginning I will choose the user one hello go to the this one what's up you see the messaging is appearing this one hello user 2 thanks You see good okay <laughs> I think we finished our video I hope you will catch all of the topics if you have a question uh, you can just below comment it below I will explain all of your questions in a very uh, in the next videos maybe we can make some uh, answering videos thank you for listening See you again. <laughs>